So, we used to have an example where we have a project with three years. We have our free cash flow is negative 100, which is our initial investment. And free cash flow in year one, two, three is 40 million at the end of each year. Then we're going to add net income. In year one, we have 10. In year two, we have 10. In year three, we have 10. And then we have salvage value. What do we mean by salvage value? This is the value of the machine at the end of the project as a scrap value, as metal, not as a technology. And this is equal to 5 million. So we need to calculate another capital budgeting tool, which is called accounting rate of return. So our accounting rate of return will use net income instead of free cash flow. And remember, net income is not as accurate as free cash flow. Therefore, our accounting rate of return is equal to average net income divided by average book value of investment. So how do we calculate average book value of investment? Average book value of investment could be calculated as initial cost plus salvage value, all of them divided by two, which means get the average of initial cost and salvage value. So let's calculate our accounting rate of return in this example. So our average net income is, we have the same net income, so it will be 10 plus 10 plus 10, all of this divided by three. If we have the same number, it will give you 10. Divided by, get our initial investment, which is 100 without the negative, plus our salvage value equal to five, all of this divided by two. Remember, if salvage value is zero, you still need to get the average. So we'll say 100 plus zero divided by two. In our example here, we have a salvage value of five, so we got 100 plus five divided by two. This will give us 19.05%. So what do you think? Is this a good ratio? High, low, shall we accept, reject, or be indifferent? So accounting rate of return is a subjective measure. What do you mean by subjective measure? It means that I need to go and ask each investor, what is the required rate of return that would you accept? It will differ from one investor to another, and that's why we call it a subjective measure. Therefore, I need to compare it with what? The required rate of return. Let's assume that one investor, he said that I would like to get a required rate of return of 15%. So I'll say that 19.05% is bigger than 15%, therefore, accept the project. What if another investor said, no, I would like to get 20%. So I'll say that 19.05% is lower than 20%, reject. If another investor said, I'd like to get 19.05%, I would say that they are equal, so it will be indifferent.